then we're going to talk about why you chalk. Okay. Uh, my name is Michael Clark. Uh, I was born and raised in Cuyahoga Falls. And flow is, you, you've asked me about my chalk stuff, chalk art. Um, I've only been doing it uh, recently. Uh, it's sort of an outshoot of, I've been doing more graphic art recently as a celebration of life because I've been falling in love with life more and more. And when I, one thing I've discovered is that people like it when you draw pictures for them. <laughs> so I, I spend a lot of time, not a lot, but I spend time connecting with people on Instagram and Twitter. And I've enjoyed drawing pictures for people. So for example, I drew this for Amanda Palmer. I drew this for some people on Instagram. I drew this for a lady who represents her face as being the, the V-mask. Um, this is the photo of a beautiful young woman on Instagram. So it's an opportunity, like, you know, you see inspiration, like a muse, you see inspiration, you draw a thing, and then you share it with them, and you get immediate feedback. And I've been, another thing that I've been yearning for, besides celebrating people that are awesome and um, getting to do art, is wanting to help uh, other people get connected to their ability to create and to be creative and to be proactive in their lives. And I see a lot of disconnectedness in our communities. And so I decided I'm gonna start doing art in public spaces. Like do these things that I would be doing in a sketchbook, but out on the canvas of concrete where, you know, we used to have grass, now we have a canvas for drawing. some people will come by because you want people to get engaged in their community and you said hopefully, hopefully people will stop by and draw something because we left a sign out there encouraging people to draw and I said we'll never necessarily see the fruits even if nobody draws today maybe it'll plant a seed in somebody's mind or in their heart to do some art or you know leave, leave a smile so they'll give a hug instead of a harsh word you never know and maybe it'll help someone pick up a pen and sketch something and doodle a little bit and they won't know why they're doodling but maybe just because they saw somebody doing it outside. Uh, you wanna do some chalk art? Chalk art? I've never done chalk art before. What's chalk art? You say it like that, I think maybe you've done chalk art before. I uh, no, I've, I've touched chalk. You've touched chalk? <laughs> myself as an artist I like saying that I'm a life artist and the things that I do the graphic works the juggling the dance the speaking the creating things the study and understanding of things there's an art to it and for me it flows from my love of life um, and so I don't like just I'm, I'm sometimes aware that like words can divide us instead of uniting us and sometimes when people see a painter and they think, oh, they're an artist, but I'm not. And I want to encourage people to see that they are an artist. Even if maybe they haven't used that medium before, they still can, and they still could. All it does is to pick up a paintbrush and to touch paint to paper, and all of a sudden you're a painter. Maybe a bad one, but you're a painter. And if you've never run a business before, it doesn't mean you can't practice doing that in a great way. It's just maybe you've never done it before, but you can dream about it. And as soon as you have that idea, you've become that thing a little bit. Anyway, 
So my friend Jimmy Best describes himself as a life artist, and I like stealing those words. Like, yeah, I'm a life artist because I do chalk art, but I also juggle, and I also make jewelry, and I also cross dress and impersonate Amanda Palmer, and I also do what my heart wants me to do. And I think that's the art of life: is listening to your heart, and as Walt Whitman says, don't do the things that offend your soul, but the things that bring you to life. And so, I'm standing in front of my mother's graphic works, her paintings, the stuff that she has painted, because she has this kind of creativity flowing through her, and I've got to grow up around this. I'm so freaking fortunate.